Good morning, YouTube friends. Welcome back again to Pursue the Dream. I'm Sue, and this is my YouTube channel about my retirement years. <laughs> my living in my plan, living in an RV, um, trying to live on my Social Security, which isn't very much. And so this was the big master plan. And I just want to give you an update. It's been one month. I've been full time almost one month. A couple, uh, one month tomorrow. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about. Well, I've whittled things down, but I still have too much stuff. Organize one more time. Look at this mess. All this will go so that I can walk up and down the aisles and everything will be put away. It's a mess right now. I can't stand it. It's really hard to live in clutter. So I've had it cleaned up, but now I'm pulling all this stuff out. Some of it's staying with my daughter and some of it's going to Salvation Army. So I had this big box. I bought two of these when I first got the RV, thinking, oh, I need storage, I need storage. But these are really not usable. So I'm going to Salvation Army them. And all the stuff in the tub will be left here, or shipped somewhere. I have things to mail to my son. And I'm finally going to get up here and get these two boxes of winter clothes out and review what the heck they are. Get it down to one, excuse me. And then under here I have blankets and some of this has got to go. So it's a day of making decisions. I hope you have a great right. fourth. Well, that's too much. It's really not a lot, you know. I'm sure when I had a closet it was full, but it's too much. So I've got two jackets, lots of jackets. I like jackets. That's my favorite shirt. That's a good shirt. That one I've hardly ever worn because it's too fat, but I don't want to hold on to it. That's my dragon, my dragon jacket. So I can't part with my dragon jacket. And then two long sleeve shirts. I might get rid of those. I've worn them to death. Problem with my clothes is I spent all my time in them. My favorite clothes working on this thing so they're all stained and cruddy looking. I'm going to have to start replacing slowly, but <laughs> all right, we're moving along. Okay, I'm making progress and actually it wasn't as heavy. Well, I'm heavy, but <laughs> I didn't have as many clothes as I thought I did. So I have three, four, five, six pairs of long pants and seven pairs of shorts. And I've got my shirts down to t-shirts. I should be specific down to 12. I have a couple. I don't count those. Night shirts. And really, I must have done this. I just didn't, it just wasn't packed well. So I'm gonna repack and get some extra space. Well, sometimes I surprise myself. There wasn't as much junk down here as I thought there was. It's just a sleeping bag, which I need. And these are the insulated uh, covers for these windows, which I need in the winter. And there's th things my mother made. A quilt and an afghan. Can't get rid of those. And then there's just two, well, three blankies and I need my blankies. I could probably get rid of some. But... I finished it. Although this box is going to get mailed to somebody. A big basket. I... That was, which I loved but it just too big. I have discovered that it's better to have smaller containers than big containers. I started out with big ones. Now I'm getting rid of those and reconfiguring what's working. This is just one of those plastic um, 
dressers, I guess. You get at Target or Walmart or someplace. And I took one of the shells out. And that has my pants in it, shirts, underwear, socks, things I need to pull out. I have room here to put my slippers and shoes. You know, I tried to be, or it's, it's much more organized. Back here are things that are just precious to me. Books, things people have given me, pictures, albums. Um, but I'm not using it on a daily basis by any means, so it's there. This is my backup generator. I just finished charging it. It should be 100%, yep. And it's a Schumacher. This is a great uh, savior. It'll do everything. It'll blow up tires on your bicycle. Uh, it'll blow up car tires, um, jumper. But most often I use it to charge my laptop and phone when I'm in a pinch. Hopefully that problem solved, but for right now, it's really great. The solar panels have found a permanent uh, r place to ride, and that works good. My Irby arrived. I'll do a thing on the Irby. I may get take on an Irby ride later. I have all my tools and things in here because they're heavy and it replaces a passenger. But I may put some on the hitch in the back or the cargo carrier. Um, look, I can walk. Oh, there's nothing in the aisles. And most of what's outside, I, there's a few things outside, but most of that rides on the back carrier so that I can walk through here. I do have the cooler that I have to put up with. That's my new trash can, or what I'm using is a trash can. And I can walk in the bathroom. And the bathtub is not full with stuff. So I just keep my water, my spare water, drinking water. That's a bucket, because you can use a bucket for lots of things. But it also ho holds the hose, sprayer hose, that I can connect, wash out the toilet if I need to. Um, these are my dirty clothes. It's a wheelie thing. All the laundry stuff's in there. I just dump my dirty clothes in here when it's full. I pull it out and can wheel it to a laundromat. I just put this up. A little rack to put towels and let it dry. I wheedled out. Wheedled? I don't know if that's a word. Whittled away at my dress clothes. And I'm pretty much down to this one really nice looking shirt that I can wear a black shirt that I love it just hangs really good and my dragon jacket can't get rid of my dragon jacket and I have a scarf here for feng shui purposes mostly I found a little nook for this yeah these pockets are working out great stayovers at Walmart this month I bought some of these storage containers. I don't know who makes them. Hefty makes them. And this seems to be working really well. So this is just my snacky snacks, munchy foods. Those are like macaroni and cheese and noodles and I have a lot of potatoes. Things like that. I did find my canned goods. I don't have very many because they weigh so much but they're way back there. I bought recently a lot of canned meats. I had canned chicken, but I don't know what happened to it. I bought some ham and tuna and some spaghetti sauce, but I don't have spaghetti, so I gotta get some spaghetti. I'm trying to put together a larder um, for boondocking where I don't have to have as, rely on refrigeration as much, but I still have food to eat. I'm not just eating ramen noodles, which I like. I had them last night, but I don't want them every night. So there's my little thing right across from my bed. It has my glasses, and here's bear spray, pepper spray, mace. In case some bad guy. Blankies and things under here. And 
I had another pillow in there. I got new pillowcases. I think that looks nice. It's a quite luxurious, actually. If nothing else, people say, oh, it's comfortable. <laughs> it is comfortable. And I could still pull some more, but I have room for these cups, and I actually end up using a lot more cups. And, but I have just the right number of dishes, I think. Um, I'm feeling like I'm really down to where it's workable. You know, I just like that I can walk without moving, no matter where I am. I don't have to put things down on the floor, or pack things up in order to move. Just take the stuff that's outside, put it on the hitch in the back, and away I go.